Alrighty everyone, my name is Mikhail99 and welcome back to Scarlet Nexus. Uh, the last session pretty much went ahead and went to Mizuhigawa, which is the construction site. Uh, we pretty much scouted out the area. Um, Yuito ended up having a brain fart and he had to take the end play, unfortunately. Or fortunately. Um, then we went over to the Supernatural Life Research Facility and pretty much saw what was going on over there. And we pretty much went through... Uh, the phase six standby. Uh, in this session, we'll be heading over into phase seven, as we'll see what happens with, within the story up ahead. So, um, anyway, um, let's go ahead and get started. If you missed the previous episodes I've done for the series, you could check it out by playlist on my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, you could subscribe to the YouTube channel to stay up to date on games such as this and any of the games I'm playing at the moment. All right, let's go into the next phase. I should try to get a little rest. Again, yes, you should. Mm -hmm. A message from Major General Fubuki? It's Fubuki. I want an update on your situation. Rendezvous where we met previously. I got a message from Major General Fubuki. Did everyone else get it too? I did. I did too. I think he's talking about the safe zone. He said he's under surveillance, so I am sure he just wanted to play it safe. But Major General Fubuki is with Spring Pharmaceuticals, right? Those ampules. Do you think he knows about that factory? It would be strange if he didn't. He might have a purpose for calling a meeting so soon afterwards. The fact that the OSF hospital prescribed the drugs must mean the government's getting products from that factory in some shape or form. Could Major General Fubuki be the go-between? Does that mean he's an enemy too? Even after everything he's done for us? Hmm. It could just be one of the ways he goes about pretending to obey the government. We can sit here and doubt his intentions all day, but we're better off just asking. You have a big Indeed. heart, Yuito. Your trusting nature is one of your most likable features. I should really follow your example. It's because he's sincere. I think our skepticism might provide him a nice balance. <laughs> that might be true. All right, off we go to the safe, to safe zone then, where lost memories lead. Ooh. Sorry to call you out here. While I accepted Luca's generous invitation the last time, I feel it would be dangerous for me to frequent your hideout. There's a good chance the team surveilling me will notice. We appreciate your consideration. Wataru told me what happened in Seiron. I've also given the government a report that won't affect our activities. What? Is that safe? Your family is spring pharmaceuticals. That's precisely why I did. Reporting my own family's wrongdoings only gets the government to trust me more. Besides, Karin and I were the first ones to propose that research facility. What? I think you already know about Alice. She's still being held in that facility as an other. We enticed Seiron in order to protect her, knowing full well they would abuse their research. The results of which were the ampules and the uprising. We were fools. What's going on with this country? Seiron may have incited an uprising, but there's still a new Himuka city just like ours. Suo's conducting human experiments, and Seiron is basically doing the same thing. All of it being done to develop new weapons to fight the threat of the others. One chose to strengthen powers, and one explored a method to control the others themselves. What are others, anyway? I've heard they suddenly began appearing after the Spring of Extinction. But not much is known about them still. That's true. I guess the only other thing we know is that they're created in the Extinction Belt. Some are saying they're wild animals that experience sudden mutations. But are they really wild? It's very possible that the government is hiding what they actually are. That is the crux of it. Huh? Even the public can sense something different about the others. So... Focusing on that point will nullify the government's personality rehabilitation efforts. Like exposing a government secret to every new Himuka citizen? Just like my brother did in the uprising. 
Exactly. Karan and I once plotted to send a video of a human at the moment of being metamorphosed straight to the minds of every citizen. But we couldn't oh. find any definitive video to serve as our evidence, and I was hampered after they threatened Karin. So that's why you let the government turn you into a spy? Yes, but now they should have Nagi's data from when Naomi was metamorphosed for research purposes. They took his memory when they subjected him to personality rehabilitation. Now that you mention it, Nagi seemed like he had no idea about Naomi's metamorphosis after he was discharged from the hospital. But, but wouldn't that cause brain damage? Extracting a specific memory is a dangerous process, but that's hardly even a concern to them. You all have the same memory of her metamorphosis, but attempting to digitize and extract it is too risky. That's why we need Nagi's stored memory data. It's already been extracted. We can send the data via Arahabaki to every citizen as proof of the government's inhuman. We're gonna act. end up seeing this Arahabaki. To hear it. Can you access At some it? point? Yes, I received permission to enter the secure site while you were heading out to Ceron on your last assignment. I've been provided with a one-time use pass. Nagi's stolen memory. Where is it stored? I think they're storing it in the old OSF hospital you infiltrated before. I'm sorry for not having oh, more concrete back in intel. Now. But that facility was used to research powers. It's very likely it's there. Could you infiltrate the old hospital after the platoon has been reorganized? Reorganized? Uh, I forgot about that. I'm... I'm staying in Yuita platoon. This isn't... This isn't the world I want either. I see. So Hanabi is the only one that needs to be transferred. No, I'll stay too. Are you sure? Staying with us could mean being targeted by the government. Then we'll deal with it if it comes to that. After all the awful things we learned, I can't just sit here and do nothing while my friends are trying to do something about it. You don't care if it brings trouble to your family? No. And I'm actually starting to suspect that it wasn't just my uncle who knew, but my father too. Thank you, Hanabi. Your help means a lot to me. I'll leave you to recover Nagi's memory from Naomi's metamorphosis. I'd like to go myself, but I don't want them revoking my access to Arahabaki, so I have to lay low for now. You've made a lot That's of waves, fine. Yuito. You need to be careful. This will be your second time infiltrating the hospital. Yes, I will. By the way, I can send you some data to help you bypass the old hospital security system. Oh, good. I may not be as good as Thank my God. sister. But I can still put together a program or two. Please use this to aid your infiltration. Thank you. Well, good luck. We've um, obtained Fabuki's program now, so that's good. I'm with you, Commander Yuito. I'm really glad the whole platoon was able to work as a team. We're all in this together. Oh, that's where Max Shelley was. Okay, I was I was looking at the map. I was like, oh, there's something there. Oh, there's a there's a quest. Uh oh. <laughs> Should I do it? I don't even know. I'll pick it up. It might be because others are coming into the city a lot lately, but less people have been coming into the gym. My gym will go out of business at this rate, can you help me? This is, think of it as a rescue mission. Others are scary, aren't scary if you're jacked, <laughs> if you're jacked. I want to use a line like that for marketing. Take down some others with your shredded body. Oh, we got a famous set of, famous select alcohol set, which we already gave to, uh, what's it called? Gamma. At least I'm pretty sure we did that last session. What do we need to do for this quest? Oh, while well, having um, Gamma's SAS of active, we have to defeat three brawn yawns. Um, isn't the brawn yawn the 
what's it called? <laughs> yep, that's the one. Alligator, crocodile looking thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we'll be done. We'll be, we might be able to do it at the old OSF hospital. I'm not sure though. All right, let's go. Let's just go there. To the old ward we go. I went straight into it. I see an invisible enemy up ahead. And that lady is back. <laughs> About Naomi's metamorphosis. Dark metamorphosis. <laughs> My guess is that someone from Seiron infiltrated. Suo was probably trying to use the chaos cause. Oh. Okay, this is like a follow-up. Something from before. At least it seems like. Yeah, someone from Seiron infiltrated. Suo was, was probably trying to use the chaos to cause chaos caused by the large scale other attacks and try to clean it up. But a clueless OSF who were just there to exterminate the others just happened to be right in the middle of the battlefield. Wait, so Naomi was turned into an other by chance? It could have been could have happened to anyone. It just happened to Naomi. Happened to be Naomi. How terrible. So that means the Suo army has special bullets that can turn people into others as a measure against the Seiron army. That's what I believe. Though I know we can't just call it an accident or a coincidence. Now things will be more dangerous than ever. I'll do all I can, but please be prepared. I feel like we're always together. <laughs> can't see it, but the other is still around. Use SAS to find it. Yes, my power? Oh, assault vision. Yes. That's something we can do with um, Sugumi now, so that's cool. Um, your allies can, can call to you during battle once you strengthen your bonds with them. If you reply with Y and B, they will appear as a vision and will ex execute a special attack. The stronger the bond, the more often they can they will call on you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now die! Go for it! It's their power together! Yeah, we worked really well together. Oh, I can't hold any more light jelly. <laughs> I was actually thinking of switching the party around. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Sugumi and Gemma. Oh, I have 10 brain points. Oh, good. <laughs> Maybe I should do something about those. Expand moving spin attack. Can perform the moving spin attack twice during a single combo. Press Y while moving to execute the sweeping at area attack. Oh, that would be good to get an aerial follow up. Hmm, revive speed up. That might actually be useful. Psychokinesis crush effect up. Psychokinesis attacks can drain crush, crush gauge by a great amount. I think we can go for that. That seems good. Um, we could level up the brain field a little bit more. Oh, quick item. Oh, that gets rid of the animation to use it. Eliminates the actions needed for using items, applying the item effects immediately. Let's go for that. Um, and then we got three more points here. I think we can automatically picks up items near, picks up nearby items. Um, we also have defeating enemies with brain crush. While SAS is active, slightly restores the gauge of the SAS being used. Uh, let's actually go for the brain field charge up drop level. <laughs> brain brain field charge drop level up. <laughs> what a mouthful! My goodness, it's fine. It's fine. I didn't see anywhere that looked like 
like a place data would be stored when we came here looking for Nagi before. If it's here, it must be deeper inside the building. Probably somewhere very hard to get to. You should be able to break the outer shell if you keep attacking. Oh boy. Can't see. <laughs> Oh wait. Oh, hang on. Attack. There we go. And pull. Oh no, we're spinning it around. <laughs> no, I that was good. Oh, that's that's very useful. Not having to do an animation for a heal. Oh, that's gonna be so useful and very helpful. What's this item? Mysterious text data. Oh, this is some lore, some lore, lore entry. The research of human experiments H13 will conclude today. Tests were, were conducted both five and ten years ago, but results were inconclusive. Considering the subject's age, we have deterred that there is nothing more to expect. H13 is out of our hands, of my hands now, so starting today I will be helping with testing I07. Knowing I07 already has a supervisor made me curious as to whether or not I was necessary. But now I understand. I07 is a subject that requires special care. It seems our instructions are to test carefully and double down our safety measures. This isn't uncommon, I'm sure, but it, but it sure is a pain. I wonder if they're talking about... How... Are they talking about, um, Nagi and Naomi? If that's the case. Oh, we've got some enemies over here. Ah, oh, I got hit. That's alright. Like nice. I don't think I'll pop the white jelly just yet. Seems like we just have to... Hello lady! <laughs> Welcome, I'm back again. Yuito, I can disrupt the security system with Major General Fubuki's program. You can proceed safely. Understood. That was close. I kind of pick this up. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Such a disturbing noise. Do you need help? Whoa. And... Whoa. Okay. Oh, that final enemy is invisible. Any more? Yep. Door is... Two invisible enemies again. I think I'm gonna take those out. Whoa. If your body begins to burn with fire, it'll drain your health. So be careful. Damage to outer shell confirmed. Keep going and break it. Nice. 
nice. I don't think I broke it. Broke a shield, but... Oh, now I did. Oh, boy. wave now we're good we're done here <laughs> oh shit intercept nice Very good. Get rid of the clairvoyance again. Oh, hang on. I need your help. Another lore entry. Second one. IO7 is in a fine state of health, but appears to but it appears the official word is that the subject is of weak constitution. However, even though we are sharing management duties, I am not I'm not sure letting the subject play freely in the ward is wise. I suppose the nurses will take responsibility if anything were to happen. Well, I started writing on the walls, so that's a bit strange, ain't it? <laughs> some help, Luca. I think some people might be concerned about that. <laughs> Oh yeah, the babies are still there. That's good. That's always good to see. Actually, I don't need a heal. No need to worry. Alright, let's save. Nice. Um, I should probably spend some money. Um, I'm going to be over if I spend that much. I, just, I think I just... Uh, I don't know what if... I think I, I'm fine with not spending money. On potions. I should be okay. Use my power with SAS. Oh yeah, but this guy. Nice. I think I should have maybe healed, um, helped hit it a little bit more just to get that EXP combo up. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> That's the Kimmy son of waving that fucking thing. Oh, that was great. Invisible enemies. Nice. button. There we go. Still alive. Nice. 
Oh. Should have done an attack there. I didn't realize I managed the perfect dodge that. Attack from behind. Oh, let's go. Just break him. On here? I think we are. Do you remember the layout of the building? You were admitted to this hospital when you were little. Uh, that's what I hear, but I don't remember it at all. I guess I was too young. Ah, oh, be quiet, you lady. God damn it. Stop trying to scare me. My goodness. Oh yeah, this is money, right? Oh no, brain field gear. Okay. Metal gear. Max jelly, that's actually useful. door open. Oh, it's <laughs> just ambient noises like that when you just hear something that just feels off. My goodness, man. I see an invisible enemy up there. Fireproof barrier. Oh, here's a serious tech startup N number five. Okay, we, I guess we've missed some. Nothing to note in today's test. IO7 is crying for their mother. The closeness to the mother may be the best result of too much special treatment. I can't say that IO7's brain is that spectacular. There are a possibility for success. But even if, if that case, even in that case, I wonder if we'll achieve the results we want. Now I'm in the impression that they're talking about Yuito here. Do you need help? What is going on? Oh, that's the trees from the that like outdoor area. Watch the enemy. Come on. Oh, we're back in brain drive. You guys good? Thank you. Now oh, here's another one. Well, oh, enemies behind us. Of course. Okay. That's number four. Problems were reported with subject H13. A subject we gave up on and we're, we're concluding tests on. The subject was a bit rebellious, but we can't let this problem develop further, seeing as we can't distort discharge the subject as is we will follow protocol and make and move to corrective me measures english is the greatest language that you can speak of <laughs> it is very easy <laughs> uh oh i think it must be those boxes I end up stamping like Tumbling upon. Right, let's go this way. I'm gonna use the light jelly there. We're gonna fight enemies here. Yep. Ugh. 
form. Oh. Nice. Oh, why did I not um follow up? Shit. Oh, that broke it. And spam the beat gun. Spam the button. Oh. Oh. Oh, he, oh, I just missed that attack there. That enemy just missed me. I mean. Nice. Is that all? No, it is enemy invisible. I think we're good. Yep, we're good here. That must mean we, we must have missed the third. I'm, I'm going back to talking about the, the, the what's it called, the, the log entries. Seems like we might have missed the third one. Or did I end up getting the third one? Hang on, hang on. No, we haven't gotten the third one. Hmm. Hey, there's a resource reading near here. What do you want to do? Oh, we already got that's where the second one is. There would be one in there, but I guess there isn't. Um, and of course, there was the one here, and then where would the next one be? I know it's just law, but <laughs> I kind of want to know. About these stuff. Yeah, there was one here too. I guess we'll just continue on. It's fine. There's a save point up ahead as well. Uh, yeah, let's, let's save. Playing little the little guys are playing all around with this this twin enemy over there. Oh, that's that's the direction we need to go. So I guess we can go and fight these guys. Ugh. I only had the... Play of buoyance um, ability up. Oh, might as well bring it up again. Ah, I didn't... Oh, there we go. Oh. 
That was good. Oh, they have one enemy. Enemy that's invisible. Is there one more? I wonder if there's one more. Oh, there's one on the other side. Might be able to deal with him yet. Oh, I can't pick up any more medium jelly. I can, I can just fight. heal. There we go. Have we been in that room? I don't think we've been in that room. Do you need help? Ah. Uh, didn't get it in time. 2,000 bucks. Okay, now we need to wait in the cell for a little bit. I need your help. Get teleport back. Nice. Um. A lot of trash everywhere in this room. <laughs> Very strange. What's this? That's number six. H13 correction is complete, but pro progress is not good. It will be difficult to discharge the subject like this. The subject has been moved to a floor with secure rooms, but they're, they are spending all day writing, writing on the walls. Attempts at conversation have been unsuccessful. If there are no signs of improvement, disposal may be necessary. I wonder the person in charge of correction did it properly. But regardless, I don't want to be bothered with this any further. That must mean I actually must have missed the third one. Unless the third one is tied to a, a certain point in the story. It, there's always that one thing that you end up missing, ain't it? <laughs> As if the second one was in that room. With the writing on the walls. Where would the third one be? It shouldn't be too far ahead. Unless I missed it here. I feel like it's meant to be here. Let me just move all the boxes around. Oh, there's nothing there. An empty fucking room. Nothing in it. <laughs> huh. Could be over here too, but mm. there goes that bed. What side now? Uh, yeah, it's, it's weird. <laughs> it's it's very weird that I can't just I you know, haven't been able to find this this one piece information though no. it's all right if I miss it not too worried about it the fourth and fifth ones are here though I feel like it's it was meant to be spawned or it's meant to be in that room over there but I guess it's just not there for some reason I have no clue. <laughs> I 
Alright, let's just continue on. Oh! Where's the enemy? <laughs> I got a little bit freaked out there. <laughs> Stairs now. No more medium jelly. Good. Okay, we're meant to go into that room over there. Um. <laughs> uh oh, what's Yui Toe doing? He's mucking around. Drive time. Whoa. More medium jelly. Oh, something there. Something there. Brain drive seven. Yep, I must have missed that one either. I've observed a small chan change in IO7's brain data. Perhaps this is the first step forward. However, we have seen plenty of this in the past. Only a handful of them have made it to the final manifestation. Exponentially, exceptionally powerful, that is the case. If that's the case, then the only subject that can be said to be successful was S09. That was the result of our research. The fruits of our wisdom. If it, if a means of mass production can be discovered, it will change everything we think we know about the world. There is no need to consider what, for what purpose this is in our field. And I, man, I wish I can, I was able to find that one item, <laughs> that one lore entry. Come on, let me go back. A resource reading near here. Let me go back and find it. <laughs> it must be like hidden like away in like a certain like, in some room let me just break all the boxes oh hang on anything up here nope I don't like when I have to like run around for like 10 minutes or so just to find this one thing. Never liked it. Again, I'm always going back to this room because I feel like it's here. Doesn't make any sense to be anywhere else but there. It's, a, it's basically a hidden room. down. I think the first one was here, right? Yeah. It was like somewhere there. Or was it over here? I think it might have been over there. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Already forgetting where things were.
wasting this brain drive. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> it's all good. Pretty much get it back really quickly anyway. Maybe I have to look it up, I don't know. It's tempting. It's tempting to look it up. Because that second one was easy to spot. But then the third one, it's, it's just... Who knows where this could be. Oh, I think I know where it is. It's here. <laughs> okay. Found it. Today's tests yielded no significant results. That's what I feel right now. Picked it up this item. <laughs> this is normal. So we can't be discour discouraged. IO7 doesn't cry or throw tantrums. So they are easy to care for. But observation is it difficult. It's easier to see changes in the brain of more impulsive subjects. Personally, I believe that looking at trends in the observation data, IO7 may be a type that we can have some expectations for. Or perhaps the next test will be something to look forward to. I need to... S Actually, let's not save our game here. Let's save our game further ahead. Get this bit out of here. <laughs> uh, it's always that one item. It always is. It's fine. At least we found it. That's all that matters. Um, let's save here. I think this whole episode is just gonna, or whole session is just gonna be me in this, in this, um, fucking hospital. Losing my mind. <laughs> Let's continue on over here. Do you need help? You might be better at using teleportation than I am. Oh, I need to so, go away a little bit. If your body begins to burn with fire, it will drain your health. So be careful. It's sprayed something like oil. Don't get it on you. Now die! Oh. Got one more now. Nice. Oh. That all of them? For now at least, it seems like it. Hold on. Okay. Watch the enemy. I'm surprised I didn't actually get hit by whatever I was trying to do. I think more in this room here. Whoa. I don't know why. Put teleport there. Oh. Asagumi's down a little bit. Oh. I don't think I can dodge. No. Now it's just got this enemy left. Oh. I can still fight. Oh, I'm still still wet. <laughs> ah, what? What? Yep, exactly right. I hit the outer shell. I think I can break. 
Oh my goodness, I, I still... Oh, what the hell was that? I'm having a tough time against this enemy for some reason. There we go. That was horrible. Get all these out of here. Throw them out. Yeet. <laughs> Medium jelly. Some help, Luca. Hey. Number nine. We're up to se oh, we're up to seven. H thirteen has been killed. They were stated slated for disposal. But would, but would that be better than being eaten alive? I don't want to think about it. The hospital is in chaos. <laughs> chaos. That's all I know. Kill chaos. I shouldn't be making this recording either, but this is the only way I can preserve my thoughts. I don't want to lose any precious test samples. If they didn't take notes, take notice of the alarm, they may not have made it out. Regardless, this place is finished. I need your help. We need to kill chaos. I'm here to kill chaos. Chaos. <laughs> Sorry. Got caught up in chaos. Is everyone okay? Thank you. Oh. Oh no, we can go that way. Yeah. Go in the direction that we're going. Seems like we did miss a page. A lore entry. I think it might have been like somewhere over here. In this general direction. Have to keep moving everything around. Would it be this way? Yeah, it might be this way. Whoops. Oh, it gets rid of teleportation, actually, that's fine. Like jelly. Oh. Let's move everything just in case there's something there. Um. Okay, here's another lore entry. Let's hope this is the eighth one. Yep, it is. Cool. I've received a notification that has been decided to dispose of H13. The fact that we are not. We are not relations. There are no relations like likely sped up the decision. This is normal with research subjects. On that point, caring for IO7 can be a burden, but there shouldn't be a problem if we, we handle it well. I went up to the ward to observe IO7, but they weren't in their room. Goodness. <laughs> they probably of... They are probably off somewhere with, with their mother. And then the next the next law lore entry is Do you need H thirteen fucking dies. Go, you talk. Jesus. Alright. Hello lady. Are we ever gonna see her? Like in the vision? A vision. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot about the hat. <laughs> I'm so, it feels heavy. Damage to outer shell confirmed. 
Break that shell. Oh, it's almost broken. Nice, broke it. Nice. Why are you going all the way around your toe? What the hell is that? Ugh. Oh. oh, that's not all. Anymore? Yeah, we worked really well together. Oh. I'm using the Sigumi. Just a little guy here. Oh, there's two of them. One more wave, yep. Do you need help? Ah, uh, it's dodged back. Hope for it to come back. There we go. Nice. Ooh. Let me just break this guy. Oh, there's an invisible enemy too. There's more than one. Missed the counter attack there. Leave it to me. Oh. Here we go. I hit the outer shell. I think I can break it if I focus my attacks. Well, oh, nice. Oh no. Shit. My fault. Just need to get rid of the SAS for a moment. Nice, there we go. That was good. What is next? What is next for us? Isn't there like the other room? Isn't there a room up ahead? There's, there's more um, TVs. TV. Oh, here's one. Here's a log entry. It's the 10th one. Nice. Forecast reading was a zero percent, but we are attacked by so many at once. Oh, we collected all the mysterious text data. Nice, that's cool. But we are, we were attacked. We are being attacked by so many at once. It's unbelievable. The OSF who are fighting back are likely those who happen to be here as patients. The main force hasn't arrived from Suo yet. The entrance to the lab should have been sealed. When the alarm went off. I can't go back there. Up ahead there's an employee and an unintelligible <laughs> system me message. Could not recognize voice entry. Saving text and encode ending voice entry. Oh shit. 
no one made it out alive. Seems. Oh yeah, here's that room. Might as well save the game here. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Um, is it possible that we might be able to actually upgrade weapons here? Ooh, hang on. Yes. We can get the Weight Hammer version 4 for Luca. Plus free to attack there. Oh, we need more battle records. To get an upgrade for Sigumi. That's okay. I mean, we can just buy it, but I don't think I want to. <laughs> um, let's buy some of this light jelly. Medium light jelly, and I'll buy one of the medium, just normal medium light jelly. I might as well make another save here. The noises up oh, have stopped. <laughs> oh, we're going back into this room again. Doesn't look like they're storing data anywhere. I don't even see anything resembling research equipment. I think the facility is underground, but there weren't any stairs leading down from the first floor. We'll just have to comb the area ourselves. If this is where they conducted his personality rehabilitation, Nagi's data should be here. I wonder if Nagi managed to get away. I had all of you there to rescue me, but he was alone. You're still as kind as ever. Nagi! You did come back. Of course you did. I mean, we're best friends, aren't we? Looks like Nagi received even more personality rehabilitation. Because oh, Nagi no. was regaining his original personality the last time we saw him? Personality rehabilitation. You traitors against glorious new Himuka are the ones who need rehabilitation, not me! There's no need to worry, Yuito. They specifically told me you need to be alive when I bring you in! Oh boy. Time to fight Nagi. Stop it, Nagi! I don't want to fight you! Then come with me! We wouldn't have to fight then. Of course, I'll kill anyone else who gets in my way. So what's it gonna be? Man, no Nagi can fight this well. If we don't use SAS, we don't have a chance. Oh. Don't let the personality oh. rehabilitation control you, Nagi. You were told it's your friend. That's why I'm doing this. I'm steering my friends the right path. What's he doing? Oh. Use clairvoyance, you tell. We'll be able to see Nagi. I've seen a lot of people whose personalities nice. suddenly changed like that. I should have started investigating earlier. If you did, you can be personality rehabilitated too. Let's do our best to stop him from now. Seems like the smoke screen's gone now. Holy crap. Oh sh how the fuck did he get there? Someone revive me. Nope, no, no. Okay, thank you. Gamma. Thank you. Sorry for the trouble. Jesus. I couldn't dodge any of those attacks, even though it was I was actually I can still fight. Even though it looked like I was dodging them. There we go. There we go. I might as well hit it. That was a lot of damage. That was 
close. Maybe we can attack him inside the air bubble. If we use teleportation. Cool. Let me borrow this. Oh shit. Here we go. That did a lot. Brain drive time. Whoa, okay. <laughs> that was actually really cool. That was so synchronized. <laughs> Too bad for you, I'm not done yet! Yeah. <laughs> Guys! Oh no. What happened? Yuito, I know that was scary. They're all done with the tests now. Honest. Let me see that brave face. You're okay. It's all over. Mommy. <laughs> A dream about my mom? Why would I have that now? Oh, right. This ceiling. It looks like the hospital room from when I was a kid. The smell, too. Smell. Where am I? <clears throat> huh? I can't use my powers? You can't use your powers here. Those restraints are designed to nullify your abilities. You're such a fool. All you had to do was play the patriotic hero, and you would have had the world on a platter. Who are you? Just a humble staff member of this facility. We've met a number of times when you were a child, but I'm sure you don't remember. We did? Have you forgotten about your time here in the hospital with your mother? Which means this is still somewhere inside the old OSF hospital. Where are my friends? No idea. Your friends are outside my jurisdiction. I'm in charge of duds. You mean people without powers? That's right. I was in charge of the experiments involving you and the Travers brothers. Unlike Karin and Luca, it seems like your psionic hormone levels are dropping. What? Now that I think about it, your psychokinesis was activated under some unconventional circumstances. Duds have an extremely low chance of manifesting powers in the first place. This could mean there's something special about your cerebrum. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Wait, I'm a dud? Oh, so you're missing your memories from when you were a dud too. This is going to be tricky. It seems your brain is accumulating damage as you use your power. I need to run some tests before I ask you any questions. I'm sure you've experienced episodes of sudden memory loss or having difficulty remembering your childhood. Yep. Wait, please explain it to me so I can understand. It's simple. You were born a dud. 
Then you were hospitalized here with your mother, because this was still the OSF hospital at that time. We know that duds are capable of acquiring potent powers. The country sends all duds to this hospital, where we run medical experiments on them. I'm a dud? I had no powers? In any case, it's time to go back to sleep. Damn it! I can't stay awake. Yuito! Are you alright? Yeah. Major General Fubuki? How... The program he gave us was able to tap into the facility's surveillance camera feed. I knew it would be dangerous infiltrating this place. I made sure I would be available if something happened. Thank you very much. I'm glad you guys are alright. I'm sorry, Major General. We couldn't get Nagi's memory data. Uh, right, Nagi. What happened after that? You suddenly collapsed, and Nagi... He took you and then used you as... as a hostage. We were afraid of hurting you, so we couldn't attack him. We were locked inside a room. There was... strange equipment. I think it was for personality rehabilitation. The Major General Fubuki showed up before any of us were rehabilitated, so we're all okay. You don't have to worry about us. Sorry. Oh, good. You're always rescuing me. Thanks, guys. Wait, it looks like others are gathering. I've disconnected the alarm, but they should already know Yuito's trying to get away. We have to escape the hospital. I've already shared the way out with Wataru. I'll hold them off here. But... Don't forget, I'm a Septentrion. I can handle myself. Take this. Don't lose it, no matter what. What is it? I'll tell you when we get out of here. Now go. You'll only get in my way. Okay. I don't see any safe area near here for teleporting. We have to run. Got it. Please, be careful. Okay. I have no power. I was a dud. I'm more confused than shocked. It's too much to take in. The other turned invisible, but I can still see it. Try using clairvoyance. Nagi must have attacked Yuito under orders from the new Fimuka government. We should consider him as being completely under the government's control. I can hit it! Cool. There we go. Those enemies down now. Go in here. Medium jelly. Let's regroup. That was all medium jelly there. Nice. Hmm, weird research lab down here. It's over here. Oh, that's back to the, the hospital. <laughs> See that box just move for a moment. Cool. Max jelly. Yeah, that doesn't open. Right, time to escape. Actually, we'll go over here. I'm using the Sugumi. Thought there was more. Doesn't seem like it. Health boost, Mark Four. Old Ward. Okay. 
Okay, I thought it was gonna get scared by me there. Oh, Siron. Asuo. NDF enemies. Oh wait, they're, they're probably Sauron still, I think. Right? We go. Former Major General Karin? Yuito, it looks like you've finally become a traitor too. What do you mean? Did the new Himuka government brand Yuito a traitor? Yes. I doubt you'd be allowed inside Suo. <sighs> Come to Seiron. You'll all be accepted as one of them. You're asking us to help Seiron? The same people who are sticking human brains inside others? Meanwhile, New Himuka is conducting experiments to metamorphose humans all in the name of producing a strong power. And at its center is the great city Suo. They're both twisted. They're both crazy. Then what do you want to do? Run to the religious fanatics in Togetsu? They're a religious state. They'd probably be open to taking in criminals such as yourselves. But Togetsu won't necessarily be a safe place this time around. This time? Just a figure of speech. Yeah. New Himuka won't be able to get us in Togetsu. They're an independent city. It is a little shady, though. Is that why you came here, Karin? To tell us this? <laughs> it was just an afterthought. However, take this if you're going to Togetsu. I can't drink this. I won't. Whether it's human blood or brains, you need to drink it if you want to live. Either way, you'll lose all your memories and powers if you choose to do nothing. The drugs are simply giving you time, so you have to drink it whether you like it or not. He's up to something. But what is it? Most likely saving Fabuki. Should we be helping him? No. Come back to the hideout. Major General Fabuki wanted me to tell you oh, not boy. to worry about him. Besides, I can at least monitor his status from here. Come back so we can make a plan on whether we're helping him or running to Togetsu. All right. We're going to the to Togetsu, of course. That sounds good. I've got Karen's own play. More ampule. Hey, good job, everyone. Man, this unit's so cozy. Wataru, what are you doing here? I had a meeting with Major General Fubuki. I was supposed to escape to the hideout if they found out you guys snuck into the old hospital in Lokusho. I mean, I can navigate you anywhere as long as I have a PC and sign at. Which means that Fubuki predicted Yuito would be branded a traitor. So, he told Wataru to come here since he is Yuito Platoon's operator. If they're going to make Yuito the bad guy, it makes sense to take out the person who knows what Yuito Platoon is up to. Good thing Wataru got here when he did. Otherwise, they may have subjected him to personality rehabilitation. Yep, that's basically it. I made sure they didn't know where this hideout was before I left. This was originally a unit for the Sumeragi family. It'd be bad if Chief Kaito found out we're here. But it seems like we're fine for now. I haven't told my brother that we're using this unit, but we should be careful. We own many others, so I don't think they'd find this place right away. In any case, I can't believe my brother made me into a traitor. Yuito. It's really made it clear to me that he sided with the government. Not that I didn't already know that. Anyway, since I'll be staying here from now on, rest assured that nobody will find this hideout. More importantly, do you still have the thing Major General Fubuki gave you? I have it, right here. What is it? It's for Arahabaki, a one-time-use key code generator. Oh. Why would he give something that important to... Major General Fubuki entrusted the key code generator to you because he thought he might not come back alive. 
Have you heard anything from him? I've tracked him leaving the old OSF hospital. He completely disappeared from all systems after that. I hope he hasn't been captured by the government. My brother saved Fabuki. I'm sure of it. We have nothing to worry about. That reminds me. I wonder if it's true that former Major General Karin and Luca were both duds. I'll look for him on my end, too. Besides, you guys don't have the luxury of worrying about anyone. They're calling you demons and hypocrites in Suo. Demons. Our stocks are limited. If you don't make contact with Togetsu or Seiron soon, we're gonna run out of supplies. How could they do this? They were just hailing him as a hero. It's fine. They shouldn't have been calling me a hero in the first place. There's actually something I wanted to tell all of you. It seems that I was born without powers. <laughs> but you have powers. What are you saying? You know how I was being treated at the old OSF hospital as a kid? Seems like I was subjected to an experiment that caused me to acquire my power. I think the reason why my powers have been on the fritz lately is because they were artificially engineered. It probably puts a huge strain on my mind. Are you sure you're okay with telling us this? That you used to be a dud? Oh, is he sensitive about having been a dud? I mean, hiding it doesn't change the truth. And I figured you all deserve to know, considering all the trouble my unstable power caused you. It's no trouble. Really. Yeah, we're just worried about you. It's only natural for us to worry. But thank you for telling us. I've heard there are many people without powers who live their life suffering in secret. It's sad, but I do believe that is the case. And if something ever happens, you know we have your back. Thanks. All right. We should rest here a little bit and figure out what to do next. All right, we've got that Arahabaki passcode generator. Stand by phase seven. It will probably be impossible to recover Nagi's memory data now. I guess this means Major General Fubuki's plan will have to be put on hold. All right, let's see who we have on episodes hit with. Oh. So you were admitted to this hospital when you were little as part of an experiment on duds? I can't believe they locked kids in a hospital to experiment on them. Must have been scary. That's unforgivable. I don't really remember it, but thanks for worrying about me. Can we give a gift to Wataru? So I'm a rebel. I oh. can't believe <laughs> Suo was after me. I don't know if I should go to Togetsu or Seiron, but what Seiron is doing is unforgivable. I think we should go to Togetsu, even though it sounds like a very dangerous thing to do. You might as well risk it. Risk the biscuit, I'd say. <laughs> Alright, we have a revised weapon, revised version of the weapon that we can get. Unfortunately, we can't make it yet. It's probably true for every single weapon. I haven't even made the four. <laughs> Need more battle records. Need 4 plus. Version 4 plus as well. Battle item. Plugin. Visuals. Cyber goggles. <laughs> So many different like visuals I haven't even bothered buying. <laughs> it's all good. Oh yeah, there's presents. Is there new ones? Oh, there was a couple there. Beige. Oh, that's the oh wait, I already gave him the roller. Oh, I haven't given him the scroll, the hanging scroll. Let me just have a look at the list. Yeah, I haven't given him this. Luca drone and controller. Hole hanger. Who's that for? 
No wonder. Oh, I need a vase. A vase pool analysis. God damn it. I guess I can also just buy the weapon. Oh, I need the... Oh, you can't get the upgraded version. You can only get the original. That's alright. Um... So we have an RB and Gamma as Bond episodes. And we also have m messages too. There's that hanging scroll. This is for me? I was very surprised by that. <laughs> you want me to give want to give something so nice to me? Thank you. I hope you don't mind if I hang it up on the, in the hideout. There was a scroll hanging in the dojo I asked to train in. It's sobering. Look at that, that's cool. And then we have Luca. We'll give that controller to him. And that drone. Looks pretty cool. Now we can be a part of the crows. Thank you. It would be nice if we could control the crows' drones like that, like this too. <laughs> it would make a mention. Oh, look at that! He's actually flying it inside. Cool. All right, who else do we have in terms of messages? Oh, Arashi and Shiden. Might as well read what R Wataru is doing here. I'll give you a little information on what, on both Seiron and Togetsu while you think about where to go next. Togetsu, like Major General Karin said, is a religious nation located on Hyano, Hyano Mountain. Outsiders do not don't know much about what goes on there. The only thing that's certain is that it's freezing cold. Be ready for that if you plan to go. Zayron, on the other hand, is Major General Karin's group's base of operations, meaning they consider him a Conrad. Knowing that they are researching those ampules and the weaponized others, it's just as fishy as Suo. I don't know if they can be trusted. The city itself is known for being more peaceful than Suo. I don't know how peaceful we can call it since the rebellion though that's difficult you can't fully trust each other either one i do not know do not like how much is unknown about togetsu but that doesn't mean there is much to learn the advantage in seiron is that we at least know who we are up against i will leave the final decision to you yuito all right let's go ahead and do the um we do the Bond episodes with Arashi and Shiden first, and then we'll finish off with Gemma and um, Hanabi. Good news, Yuito. I finished an update to the program. I'll be at Musubi's. Alright, let's go there. I'm kind of used to this now. Yeah, I'm kind of used to this now. I'm on my way to Musubi's. Nice. I've added new functions to version 1.1 of the Forced Break program. It's a system that teaches you simple relaxation methods when you enter rest mode. Now give it a try. I didn't come here to test this, Arashi. Why don't you quit developing this program? You came all the way here to tell me that? What a waste of time. You should have just refused when I invited you. No, I think it's important for me to tell you this. I'm all ears for your elegant speech, oh great one. <laughs> it's not like that. I just don't know about forcing a break through a program. There are easier ways to help people relax. You could offer to listen to their problems or give them some advice. I see. We'll have to explore those options. Why don't you tell me about your problems then, Yuito? What? <laughs> I'm taking your suggestion. You have a lot of pent-up feelings because of all this hard work you're doing, right? So, out with it. 
I don't know where to start. Like, my family and brother? Chief Sumeragi? That's a bit of a touchy issue. Yeah. I had no idea he was involved in something like that. He even set me up as a traitor. My dad didn't tell me anything either. I understand your confusion. Although I can understand why the Chief did what he did. Does that mean you approve of their methods? I didn't say that. I don't endorse them or forgive what they did. However, the way they're willing to sacrifice their own family if necessary is something I can see myself doing. Would you be able to do that to Major General Fubuki? You could sacrifice your own brother depending on the situation? I would, but he wouldn't be able to make the same decision. No. For better or worse, he's still a child. You two are similar in that way. What's that supposed to mean? Children think they can save everyone, but that's not how reality works. There will always be something that needs to be sacrificed. Grown-ups have to figure out the line to draw on what to give up. I think you hate being that kind of grown-up. <laughs> Is that so? Well, you might be right. If I stayed a kid, I might be happier thinking I could do anything. Being able to selfishly slack off whenever I want is something a grown-up gets to do. Pretty cool, right? Hmm. <laughs> no, grown-ups shouldn't slack off. <laughs> you really are so much like him. And that's the Bond episode. Do we even get anything for doing those? The program I was developing got got put on hold, so now I have nothing to do. Do you have anything else to talk about? The Arashi Support Center is open for business. <laughs> I'm surprised to hear you asked you ask for work, Arashi. Could you take a look at, at the place in front of my SAS? I have adjusted to make sure it's... Wait. Could you take a look at the place in front of my SAS? I had adjusted to make sure it's okay. Having having a serious youngster around is rubbing me off, rubbing off on me. I'm thinking I'd I'd work a little harder. Oh, it seems that while I was writing this reply, the Arashi Support Center is center closed for today. For today, sorry, maybe next time. <laughs> God damn it! All right, now we got Shiden. Hey, Yubito, I want to tell you something. Come to Vesuvius now. I'm trying to ignore when we started where we stand and just talk to you you will listen to me if you know what's good for you i know i sound like a broken record but don't keep me waiting yeah yeah i got it i'm going now i said it before but let's forget whose side we're on when we talk i guess it doesn't really seem like you care about that cheating i'll be there soon boom boom you're late again but it's fine I forgive you. Uh, thanks. So, what do you want? I have some things to say about the way you fight. The way I oh. fight? Yeah. I've seen you fight many times, and you have a lot of wasted movement. You're no longer a cadet. If you want to call yourself an OSF soldier, don't just flounder around. On the battlefield, you need to always be reading your enemy's movements and consider your next move. Use your brain. So he calls me here to criticize me? What the hell is he thinking? Hey, are you listening? I'm spending my precious time on you here. Hang on. I don't really know what's going on. Why did you want to talk? Because you helped me before, however slightly. I'm returning the favor by giving you some advice. That was advice? It sounded a lot like you were making fun of me. What? You can leave if you don't want my advice. I thought you'd want to get stronger. He's annoying, but he has been in the OSF longer than me. If he really wants to help, I guess I'll listen. All right, I'm all ears. A wise decision. You can't win without hard work. Though I'm sure that doesn't make sense to someone who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. He can't stop with the insults. I bet he doesn't have any friends. Oh, don't just, just assume Back that. To the subject. Jesus. I told you to read your enemy's <laughs> movements, but it must be hard for an inexperienced rookie to do that. 
instead of relying on hazy knowledge, it's better to work on reaction time and calm decision-making skills. I see. But I want to just attack cancel. Unfortunately, <laughs> you lack both right now. I can't do that, it's though. It's a miracle you're still alive. <laughs> was it incredibly good luck, or was it your teammates? If you don't want to die young, you need to get better. I listened to you, and all you did was insult me. You hate my guts. Any reason why? What? I go out of my way to help you, and you think that's an insult? Come on, that last bit was definitely an insult. Fine. I'll tell you if you really want to know. I haven't liked you since the first day I met you. Since I was scouted, I worked for years to get strong. I've been near death more times than I can count. How could I like someone who was born in the Sumeragi family and pampered his whole life? Who my family is doesn't matter. I'm my own person. No matter what you think of yourself, everyone else only sees the Sumeragi boy. That... that may be true, but... That's why everyone was prejudiced against me, even though I worked so hard. But if I say that, Shiden will have a field day with it. <sighs> If you don't like it, you have to become strong enough to surpass your name. But if you can't listen to advice, it'll be impossible. The fact that a volunteer soldier like you made it into Captain Seto's platoon had to have been because of your family connections. What? Another thing I hate is those dolls you guys collect. That little packin' or whatever. <laughs> What's cute about such a weird little thing? There are some things you just don't say. It's Baki, not Packin. <laughs> That's rude to Baki. What's with you anyway? You're just spewing insults now. What? You're the one who complained when I was just trying to give you advice. That wasn't advice. It was just nagging and insults. I've had enough. I'm out of here. Fine. <sighs> What's with him? Did he actually think that was advice? It's like he's made of insults. Next time he calls me, I just won't show up. God damn it. Right. <laughs> Aiden. Just. Just fucking die. <laughs> oh, we didn't get a message from him. <laughs> uh, Shaden, Shaden, Shaden. Alright, what's next? Um, Let's talk to Gamma, I think. Yeah, let's go talk to Gamma. What's Wataru have? Is that like a headpiece? Or, or is that like... One of those like enemies from like Metal Gear Solid 5. Hands of Pain, those are like weird looking creature things. Alright, let's do the Bond episode with Gamma. Hey Gamma, are you free right now? Do you want to go somewhere with me again? <sighs> Gamma? Hmm? Sorry, I was just thinking. Is something the matter? I'm here if you need to talk. Yeah, maybe I should talk to someone. One of my friends who retired from the OSF has gone missing. Are there any leads? I first learned about it when I got a message from his younger brother. We hadn't talked in a while. He asked me if I might have any ideas, but I couldn't give him any. I was just wondering what to do now. I can see why you're worried. Is there anything I can do? No, I can't trouble you with this. It's a personal problem. But I want to help. Why don't you just tell me what you can? It couldn't hurt. Hmm. Thank you. I'll take you up on that. The friend who went missing was an old classmate, and then we worked together in the same platoon when he was still in the OSF. But as the years went by, the anti-aging medication's effects weakened, and his body began to age. It's something all children of the state have to face eventually, but he reached his limit sooner than me. His powers waned as he aged, and fighting became too difficult. He retired this past spring. I see. I'm glad he managed to retire safely and not get hurt or die. Yeah, but children of the state face a tough situation after retirement. The body ages normally after they stop taking the medication, but the abuse their brains sustained over so long a time is significant. Many retired soldiers deal with various issues, 
stemming from their body's changes exacerbating their brain's fatigue. It's that tough for them? Can't they treat that with medication? I hear there are many who receive treatment, but it's not easily cured. If it becomes prolonged, it also affects the patient psychologically. Do you think your friend wasn't feeling well after retiring? Yeah, he was tired, physically and mentally. I tried my best to stay in touch after he left, but after a while he just kept asking me about the OSF and my missions. It seemed like he wanted to come back. He missed his old job after having trouble adjusting to retirement. I mean, he was with the OSF for decades after all. It's tough to instantly change your life. He never wanted to retire to begin with. Those who can no longer fight will never be able to return to the OSF. <sighs> I decided to distance myself from him, so he can finally move on from the military and build a new life for himself. I didn't reply to his messages or meet up with him. Looking back now, it was probably too harsh. His brother said it was cold of me to cut off all contact like that. <laughs> I can't blame his brother for saying that. It might be my fault he disappeared. Maybe I pushed him away when he needed me the most. You did it for your friend's sake. You can't blame yourself for that. For now, you should do what you can. Have you tried calling your friend? No, I haven't reached out to him yet. Then try messaging him. Even if you don't know where he is, it should reach him if he's safe. Maybe he's just waiting for you to contact him. <sighs> You're right. Waiting here won't get me anywhere. I'll take your advice and do whatever I can. <sighs> There's no reply. He might need time to notice the message. Let's wait a little longer to see if it reaches him. Or it reached him, but he's not planning to reply. <sighs> There's no way for us to know. Hmm. Back when we were in the OSF together, we could easily brain talk with each other and had GPS to know our location. Yeah, that's not available since he retired. He has to go through the trouble of accessing a terminal. I can't really relate how inconvenient things are after you retire. But he must have been going through a lot. Yeah. Why don't you keep messaging him and wait to see what happens for now? I'll see if there's anything else we could do. I'm glad for your help. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Okay. Poor Gemma. I never really thought about what people do after they retire. Is there anything more I can do? I know. The OSF database could have information on Gemma's friend. <sighs> the data's locked. I guess that's not a surprise. Yeah. Wataru, you got a sec? Yo, what's up? There's an OSF matter I want you to look into whenever you're free. OSF. So information that can't be found through official channels. Okay, send me the info. I'll look into it. Thanks, Wataru. I hope we find a lead on Gemma's friend. Type so. I guess I don't need to mention it, but you don't avoid me. <laughs> I have no reason to. Do other people avoid you? Yeah, the youngsters probably feel awkward around an old man like me. I'm used to it, but it can still hurt, so I'm grateful. Bond level four. That's very cool. Assault vision. Attack an underground enemy and Gemma will call out. Unguarded enemy, sorry. Um, answer him with Y and B and he will appear as a vision and perform a special attack. Very cool. This is what it means to trust each other. Yeah, I trust you to have my back. And we got another message. Can't settle down. Sending messages isn't satisfy satisfying if there's... No reply. Can we talk? I can get my mind off it. Anything is fine. Reply whenever you see... Whenever you see this. So anything is fine. Okay, that reminds me of... Of the lyrics of a popular song. I don't know it very well. Not... Very well, but it's... About a reply... The message not coming. That they can't sleep. Can't eat. Oh, I remember. It's a love song. Sorry, I wasn't trying to make a joke or anything. Love is about being upset and feeling down, right? I don't understand that feeling at all anymore. I guess it's because I'm getting old. I know that love isn't for me. Thanks, I learnt something. <laughs> right here. And then finally we have... 
an RB, which we haven't been able to do a Bond episode in the, like a couple of sessions, so it's good to see we'll be back with her. Alright, here we are. Bond episode. What's the matter, Hanabi? Why are you sighing? Did something happen? Oh, Yuito. No, it's nothing. Come on, you can tell me. We've known each other since we were kids. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. So, the other day when I was battling an other, I accidentally burned a building that was nearby, and Gemma scolded me. He said that my control of my powers was rough, and I'd eventually end up hurting those I need to protect. He doesn't mince words. He's right, though. I wasn't paying enough attention. Gemma asked me what I wanted to be as a member of the OSF, and to think hard about what I'm fighting for. The thing is, I still can't picture what I want to strive for. Right. You did mention that you never thought about what you wanted to do in the OSF. Yeah. And the things we've seen since joining, you know, the suspicious secrets and the inhumane experiments, just awful things that ruined that image I had of the OSF as a kid. That's true. After finding out that the organization we're in caused a lot of suffering to so many people, I can't picture anything positive when someone asks me what I want to fight for as a member of the OSF. I understand that what feeling. What am I fighting for? <laughs> finding out this isn't the organization you thought it was. But you're the one who's out there fighting. You just need to figure out what you're fighting for as an individual, not as part of the OSF. My reason for fighting. I'm not sure if I have one. I bet you'll come up with something if you think about it. I mean, if there's no reason, then why have you been fighting by my side all this time? It's because you... I what? N nothing. I'll try thinking about it some more. <laughs> okay, but there's no rush. I'm always here if you want to talk. Thanks. It's not like me to doubt myself like this. Feeling sad won't change anything. All right. I'm going to find a reason to fight. Yeah, that's the spirit. Thanks for cheering me up. You were always cheering me up when we were kids. So it's my turn now. You don't owe me anything. But I'm happy to hear you say that. Thanks for listening. Sure. Just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Don't worry. I will. There we go. That was a short one. This might not come out right. But it's more fun living in the unit than I thought. It's a little inconvenient, though. Yeah, but everyone in our platoon is nice, and I'm always with you. I hope we can keep fighting together. Being with you makes me feel... safe. There we go. Reach Bond level 4 with Hanabi. We also got her version of the Assault Vision. Oh, Jesus. That's cool. A fiery explosion there. Golden Barky doll as a present. Oh, nice. Maybe it's time to move there it is. <laughs> That's cool. What? Oh, nothing. Why are you anxious? I like that we're childhood friends. Oh, our bond won't be um, level four just yet. We need to wait for Luca, I think. I remember something from my childhood. We're talking about about when you were a kid, so I got all nostalgic. We went on so many adventures in that hospital. Yeah. You would drag me around by the head. I always looked forward to seeing you. Me too. I still hope I can cheer, cheer you up like this, like I used to. Alright. Well, that's going to be it for me. After this session of Scarlet Nexus. Next session, we'll be heading into chapter 4. Eight, <laughs> phase eight, and see where where we're going to be going. I'm hoping. Oh, we've got 13 points to spend. Hang on, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Um, let me actually put these in then. Health gradually recovers while brain drive is active. I think that's actually useful. Defeating enemies with brain crush while brain drive is active slightly restores the brain drive gauge. Restores status element when brain drive is activated. Oh, that's 
Okay. Assault visions will be cons consecutively activated while in brain drive. While brain while the brain drive is active. Assault visions will be activated when the bond level increases. Okay, cool. Press the XP, EXP bonus multiplayer gained while brain drive is active. Um Not too sure what I get. Activating brain drive completely restores all eight um, SAS gauges. Oh, there's the, the max psi gauge boost. It'll probably be useful at some point. Um, let's get level 2 charge attack, actually. Could get an enhanced charge attack. Mid-air dash attack. Um, oh, I think this is useful. Yeah, the brain crush chance expanded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go for that. Wow. Nice. We only got two points left, so... The only thing we can get is the brain field overkill, which we haven't been using brain field really. Um, but I think I'll just save my points. All right, let's let's end the session here. Uh, so thank you everyone so much for watching this session of Scarlet Nexus. Next session uh, looks like we'll be heading over to that. Well, it seems like we will have a decision as to whether we're going to Seiran or Togetsu. Though so I feel like. If, I, if there was a choice, I think we'll go, have to go to Togetsu, to be honest, because it sounds cooler. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's going to be it for me for this session of Skull Nexus. Uh, if you missed the previous episodes I've done for the series, you can check it out by playlist on the right side of the screen. Um, on the left side of the screen is videos, or at least playlists, to other games I've played in the past. And in the middle, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on games such as this any of the games I'm playing at the moment. Anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Goodbye.